Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In this video, we will talk about what is a primary key. In the previous videos, we saw what is a foreign key, which is basically the data from this column refers to data in this column. So meaning that the values in this column should be a subset of the values in this column. But then what about the values here? They are also, they should also comply to uh, some kind of business rule. For example, it lists the items being produced, right? So uh, Mr. McDonald uh, had listed cow milk, uh, chicken egg, chicken, apple, banana, duck egg and orange, right? So, is, the, is there a point in putting duplicate values? For example, if I put cow milk twice, does it make sense? No. You don't need to put uh, duplicate values, right? And I wouldn't say you, you don't need to. Uh, you should not. That should be the business rule because whatever items you produce, you, that must be unique, right? So it should not be listed. So we should have a system where if someone enters data, when they say someone, uh, the employees of EIEIO Inc. Uh, are the, the employees who work in this uh, table, uh, they should not enter any data that is duplicate okay so we there should be a system to prevent duplicates okay and also what about null values right you don't produce nothing right so you produce something but then you don't produce nothing. So this is also wrong. So the business rule, according to the business rule, we should not have any duplicate values and we should not have any null values, meaning that no value, right? We should not have any of this, any of this. So how do we implement? We create a primary key. right we call this column as a primary key right so it immediately enforces the uniqueness and not null value okay but then again uh, it will also say that this column is the driving column for the other data like now, right now I've listed only one column but then there will be a couple of other columns this column would be the driving column and it has to be unique and should not have any null value and that would be the driving column uh, just note the word uh, when I say driving column because I'll explain that later uh, for that particular table okay so when when we create a table and when we configure at column as a primary key or we can configure multiple columns as primary key I don't want to get into that because I don't want to complicate things as of now so as a primary key then uh, it enforces the uniqueness and having no uh, uh, null values in that column okay so if there are if it's unique and if if it, if it doesn't have null value it's easy for this guy to refer this data right otherwise this guy cannot refer there is one more uh, uh, possibility that uh, you know uh, a child can refer but then I'll come to that later that's called a unique key but then I'll come to the later so this key is I mean uh, this column is enforced to be unique and not null by creating a primary key on it okay so that is what is a primary key and the 
the, the feature, I mean, the, the, the function of uh, uh, primary key is it makes the column to be unique and it cannot have null values. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any comments, please uh, uh, say, uh, say, put it as a comment. Thanks.